Hi Cameron, this is Tony. Um, we spoke quickly yesterday and I mentioned I wanted to send you over a video. Uh, so here it is. What I wanted to do is give you sort of an attack plan to help you increase your online presence in a way that'll actually help you generate more business via your website. You may be asking yourself, why would I send this for free? Um, well, what I've noticed is most business owners or uh, management, they're too busy working on their day-to-day -day activities within the business to worry about their website. So when I send this attack plan, you know, there's a handful of folks that are going to take that information that I send them and, and work through it and do it themselves, which I applaud. But there's another um, handful that uh, will just say, hey, Tony, I like the information you sent. Um, can you help me out and get this done? And obviously, I'm more than willing to do that as well. So um, with that, uh, let's go ahead and get to it. I want to keep this short and to the point. So. The I want to go over three ranking factors in Google, content, backlinks, and citation. So content is just all of the words and images on your homepage here. We suggest having 2,000 words of content. Google really values well-written, authoritative content, and um, it is one of their main ranking factors, and it gives you the foundation for everything else. So you guys have about 387 words right now. Uh, that is obviously uh, nowhere near 2000. So I would uh, suggest adding more content here. And within that content, you want to get keywords like roofing Jacksonville, Jacksonville, Florida, which I'm looking up here. This gets searched about 300 times in the Jacksonville area. You want to make sure this keyword is within this text. Um, and you'll notice I don't see roofing Jacksonville anything. So that is important that you get that in there. Um, so at the top here, when I do this search, we get the Google paid ads. I'm not going to talk about that. Below here is called the map pack. The map pack is really, really important for you guys. About 70% of the searches are going to call or click one of these three in the map pack, these top three. They're going to assume that they're the best of the bunch, um, which I know is not true. What they have figured out how to do is to get to the top here. So one of the main ways to do that is through citations and citations are just your company name address and phone number out on directory sites around the web these are sites like uh, yellowpages.com yelp angie's list thumbtack there's like 400 of these things you need to um, get yourself on as many of these as possible if you add your company to 10 to 20 of these per week over time your your google my business listing is going to rise to the top just make sure that um, you are consistent with the way you input the data consistency is key below this is called the organic um, rankings these are more affected by backlinks and all a backlink is is your company url in a clickable format out on another website now you want to make sure that you get backlinks from trusted websites and if at all possible websites that are relevant to your niche so a home improvement uh, website. A roofing blog or home improvement blog would be two examples of websites to get backlinks from. Um, one way to do that would be to give uh, the blogger a free article. Oftentimes they'll swap you a backlink for an article so they can keep their website uh, active. So I'm going to quickly open up um, Roofing Jacksonville, Florida and Reliant. They're the first two actual roofers in um, in the uh, listing here, the results. And if we look at these guys, um, Reliance got a bit more content than you do, but not by much. So they shouldn't be that hard to beat. And Prime, if we scroll down sort of quickly, they're also not, uh, they're not doing too great. So the, the positive thing here is they should be easy to beat. You get 2000 words on your website and you're going to be uh, kicking both their butts. So I'm going to take prime roofings URL and put them over here into this product called a refs. They, this product does is um, a good estimation of what Google knows about a website. So going back to those backlinks, prime roofing, one of the reasons they're number one in that search is they have 629 different websites pointing back to them. These are backlinks, essentially. They're being found for 4,100 keywords. That's getting them approximately 2,400 clicks a month. Um, a lot of these keywords they're being found for are not like uh, city specific. Like this is a uh, buyer intent keyword that you want to be found for, which is what I searched earlier. 300 words or 300 volume of searches a month. There, it's, this is showing position two. I think they're up to number one now, um, according to this. Yep. So they're actually going to get a third of these searches. So this is going to be closer to a hundred. Um, so 
this shows how important it is uh, to first of all have the the keywords on your site and second of all have a lot of powerful backlinks to help push you up to the top. So let's go ahead and um, look at your website in comparison. 53 websites pointing back to you and 136 keywords that shows that you're getting 98 clicks a month and let's see where you're getting those clicks from. So there you're getting the clicks from your company name. Um, roofing companies in Jacksonville, Florida, you are ranking for that. 60 searches a month, you're in position 13, so you're not really even getting a click. Roof repair, Jacksonville 20, um, bottom of page one, not getting a click. Um, that's not, you know, there's, there's variations on a theme here, but you're sitting way low. Um, so your backlink profile is just not strong enough to push you up. So say, for example, these guys uh, were getting, you know, I don't know. Say they're getting 200 clicks a month for those Jacksonville keywords. They're closing 10% of that. That's 20 new roofs a month. That is definitely um, something that most business owners would welcome, especially since that's free traffic. So with that, I, that's all I really have for you today. I hope it was useful. I hope it gives you some tools in your tool belt um, if you want to help yourself. Again, um, you know, I'm here to talk if uh, you guys don't have the time or the bandwidth to, uh, to work on this yourself but would like to. At the least, if you found this information useful, I do welcome any feedback. Just reply to the email. Let me know what you thought. All right, Cameron. Thanks for watching. If you have, have a great day. Bye.